Hey everyone, Steve here. How many times has something like this happened to you where you make a change? In this case, I'm just going to uh, double click on that plane, reverse the normal, select OK, and you'll see this magenta curve, how it swings and goes to those opposite ends. The reason it does that is the intersection curves are built off of this plane. The start and end point are based off of the normal direction of that plane. When that switches, the start and end points switch as well. So the bridge curve, which is told to be held at the start of one curve and at the start of the other curve, is also going to switch because the zero percentage and the zero percentage of the curves have now reversed. So what ends up happening is the bridge curve goes and swings off in the opposite direction. We can build a little stability into the model. And um, that stability is going to correct at least part of this issue. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. Now, I'm going to come in, go to Analysis, and use a tool called Measure Extreme. And the way this works is you pick an object. In this case, I want to measure this curve. Then you specify a vector. Well, I want to measure in this vector. You'll see what it does is it sets up a little point at this end. I want to create the output geometry, and I want this to be associative. So I'm saying I want, on this curve, the point furthest in a specific direction, the extreme measurement. It's a 3D extreme point. You'll see there's other extreme measurement types, okay? But in this case, I just want a 3D extreme point. And select Apply. And then I'll do the same thing. I want to measure this curve. That, you'll see it wants to put the extreme point here, and I'm just going to reverse the direction. And there it goes at that other end. Select OK. You can see I have a point. Now, with that, I'm going to go back into Curve, go to Bridge, and when I make my bridge, I'm going to pick near this endpoint, and you'll see it's measuring at a percentage. So if I came over here and said 30%, you'll see it goes to the 30% of the curve. Well, that's not what I want. I want to hold that bridge specifically at that point that I've just created with my Measure Extreme. So I'm going to say Through Point, and uh, with that, I want to turn off my endpoint, I want to turn off my Control Point, and all the others, I want to make sure I get the existing point. That's one way, or the other way is you can just come over here and hover over the top of it and get the quick pick to pop up. In this case, I just turned everything off. All right, so now uh, it's asking for my second curve. Pick my second curve, and once again, it's a percentage of, and again, that's why it switched in the first place, that the, uh, um, the percentage, the zero percent of each curve switched when the plane normal switched. So in this case, I'm just going to, once again, say through point, pick my point. I want to make sure that I get the end point of the, or not the end point, but the point of the extreme measurement. Okay. And select OK. So now I've just created my spline. Let me go ahead and change the color of this so we can actually um, see it as a bit more obvious, like the magenta, and turn up the font thickness. There we go. Now. When I uh, make a change to my data plane, I'll do the exact same change as I did before. I'm just going to simply reverse the direction. Not the offset distance, but the plane orientation. Select OK. You'll notice that the curve still switches directions, because I didn't correct that issue, but I did correct the point at which it is coming from. This is going to build a little bit more stability in the model. Someone that's making a change now can go in here and look at that and go, oh, all right, I see exactly uh, the intent. I know it looks wrong, right? Something's obviously wrong. So I can just simply come in here, double click, and reverse the vectors. You can see the curves, or the, the vectors have reversed. And it's like, okay, so now it's just one thing that needs to be corrected instead of having to drag the curve, drag the curve reverse the directions. It just makes for a better flow of the model. How we correct the vector direction is a different story. I'll get into that in another video. Here I just wanted to talk about that measure extreme. Again, it's under the analysis and it's called measure extreme, 3D extreme. You just pick the element, pick the direction. You can have secondary, tertiary directions as well. Um, it, just, it just does a really, really nice job. So that's how you build a little bit of stability into a model. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Uh, click the like button if you did like it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And please share with your friends.